Hey guys, so this is a look that I created. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching and thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. I think I wanna do like a pink look. Let's just get ready and see what look we come up with. And so I just have a little bit left of my e.l.f. Um, facial mist. We're gonna use this up. Like I'm literally almost out. How are you guys doing though? I hope you are all doing well. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation because it's like my perfect shade right now before I start tanning because I need some color. So in this case, I have a lot of breakouts right now. I recommend to just start off lightly when you're doing your foundation. And then if you need more coverage, you can just add more so you're not overwhelming, you know, putting too much makeup on at first. And I'm gonna use a Wet n Wild sponge. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I was on Instagram last night and I saw they're coming out with the SpongeBob collection. I'm so excited. I think I need to do a review on everything. I think I'm gonna buy everything. Like this collection calls my attention way more than like the Lizzie McGuire from ColourPop. I'm still debating on getting that, but I don't know. I really want it, but I know the lip balms or the lipsticks, lip glosses were sold out when I checked yesterday. For concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Urban Decay um, All Nighter Concealer. This one's in the color Medium Light Warm. By the way, the foundation was in that color what color was this? Soft beige. I'm trying to use up um, the concealers that are like running low. This concealer is so good, so creamy, so long wearing and like matte, but comfortable. It's like NARS creamy concealer, but in like a tube, so natural. So now I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow, but first we're just gonna really quickly cream contour. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Stick in the color Baked. I'm pretty generous with this product. It's It blends out kind of natural, so I put a good amount on. So it looks really like soft and natural, but when we put powder or bronzer, it's going to give you like more of a pigmented look. So I'm not gonna put any more cream on. So I recently got this not too long ago. It's one of my newer palettes. It's the Makeup Revolution Ultimate Nudes in Medium. It has really pretty shades, perfect tones for like my everyday colors. So I'm gonna be using this. I really wanna do something like, kind of like mauvey pink, like smoky, sultry-ish. For primer, up to make your eyeshadows stand out more, I'm gonna use a NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. My eyelids are so dry and flaky, it's very frustrating. Little trick I like to do, especially when I want really good brows, I use a clear brow gel and put my, and set my eyebrows. By the time I get to my brows, they're gonna be so easy to fill in. almost like primer this step makes it so easy benefit has a really good like i think it's called the bravo primer and it's really good for just like using it before your um brow products i'm gonna add a little lip balm because i needed some color on my lips okay so now that i have that on my lids i'm going to just set with a color from a different palette because i will say this palette doesn't have like a beige kind of color like a you know like a light color to set the primer you don't have to but i'm going to okay i'm going to start by using this color right here if you have hooded eyes like me i used to have like more lid space for some reason i feel like maybe they're just saggy now a lot of people often tell me that they struggle with doing eyeshadow because they feel like their lids are too small but the key is typically when we have hooded eyes we have more space under our brow so i recommend you to drag your eyeshadow higher up that way when you open your eyes you can see the eyeshadow um more on the top like towards your brow 
instead of like just putting it really low and then you can't see it when you open your eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this pinky color right here. To make that look a little bit deeper, we're gonna use this one on the outer crease. Obviously this look can be a little bit more intense depending on what your taste is, but I'm just kind of doing the minimum. Like I like to do looks like these that are more a little bit bolder and smokier, but not to like where they're, they're like super intense, you know what I mean? Like this look can definitely be more bold. I really like this little palette because it's affordable and on top of that the colors are really like soft and pigmented but not too much to where like you have to blend so much like you can build up the colors really nicely but they're still like have good payoff of color it reminds me a lot of a huda palette which i don't own any of those i would like to but i don't so now I'm gonna use some of the um, NARS concealer just to, I am gonna cut my crease, but not like too precisely. I'm just gonna like add some concealer on my lid so that way the shimmer I'm gonna put on pops a little bit more. So for the shimmer for this part, I'm gonna use actually a different palette just because the shimmers in here aren't as light as I want them to be for this look. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop So Jaded palette. I guess I'll go in with the shade Pearl just because it matches like the concealer pretty well. Not like a shimmer shimmer, it's like a satin kind of color, like there's no glitter. It's really pretty, almost like bridal looking. Okay, I think I need to start doing my eyebrows because I feel like a little, a little naked. For brows, I'm just going to use the usual Wet n Wild um, pencil that I've been using like non-stop. The brows are already good to go from being prepped, so let's just fill them in. Now we're just gonna put on some eyelashes and this look will be almost done. Hey guys, I just put on two pairs of lashes and none of them were looking right on me. I don't know, maybe I just need smaller lashes these days, but I'm just gonna use a pair from my Trendy Girl Lashes because I'm obsessed. Alrighty guys, so the lashes are now on. Let's go ahead and finish off the face because I'm looking a little shiny. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild powder. I bought this not too long ago and I really like it. Like I've used it before. I'm just gonna set my face because we have that cream bronzer and we use the dewy foundation so my face isn't completely like matte. I guess we're keeping everything drugstore. I'm pretty sure everything so far has been drugstore. So I'm going to use the Superstay powder from Maybelline, which is really good. And mine's all dirty. So I'm gonna use this for my under eyes. I'm running low on my Makeup Forever powder, the pressed one, which is like my favorite. This is the closest I have come to that powder. Which, by the way, I'm really excited to do a Sephora VIB sale recommendations. You might see that video first before this one. I'm not sure. I might do a poll on Instagram, so make sure you follow me on there. If you have followed me from YouTube to Instagram, let me know because I want to know who you are. <laughs> it sounds creepy, but I do. For bronzer, we're going to use the Essence Luminous Bronzer. I know they have a matte one, but this one's just my favorite. I like have been using this since ever since I bought it. I can't stop using it. It's like the perfect shade and it's not too light because the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, the original, is way too light for me. So for blush, since I haven't used these in a while, I'm going to use the e.l.f. blushes, the duos. They actually have a highlighter in them, but I'm just going to use the blush. This one's the color. I'm going to use the darker one, which is in the color Spiced Apple. Oh, that's pigmented. Alright guys, um, I don't know if I want to do highlighter, so let's just move on to the lips. I'm going to use the e.l.f. lip liner. So now for lipstick, I'm going to use the London lip color from NYX. It's a soft matte lip cream. They smell like dulce, like cupcakes. All right guys, that was the completed look. I hope you enjoyed it. I love this look. It's so pretty, it's so shimmery, sultry, but very soft. Totally my vibe. 
But thank you so much for joining me today and getting ready with me. I hope this look inspired you to do something along these lines if it's out of your comfort zone. It's definitely out of my comfort zone because I don't really do shimmer anymore, but I thought it was fun and I'm definitely looking forward to doing more videos like this and tutorials for you. Thank you again so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video with a friend or somebody. And thank you again for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.